There's been some polling done on the coalition's plans for nuclear energy. Let's bring in Redbridge Group Director Cos Samaras now, who's been overseeing some of these focus groups. Cos, it looks like there's quite a bit of opposition to the idea of nuclear energy, and you went to one of the areas that would be the focus of replacement of coal-fired power. What, what did you pick up? Yeah, that's right. It's, it was in the uh, Federal Electorate of Gippsland, uh, which is in Victoria's uh, east, and uh, overwhelmingly the participants in, within those focus groups were completely against the idea of having a nuclear power plant uh, uh, constructed in their, in their uh, neighbourhood or their region. And the Coalition is talking about replacing the retiring coal-fired power stations like uh, Hazelwood in, in Gippsland, that sort of thing, with a nuclear power station. Is there a lack of awareness? Is there a worry about safety? What's the concern here that was expressed to you in these focus groups? Surprisingly, they knew quite a lot about the the risks associated with nuclear power plants. Um, whether they were the, the older participants who have obviously a lived, lived memory of um, Chernobyl uh, or uh, younger participants who uh, watched on their TVs what, what occurred in Japan during the, uh, during the tsunami and the earthquake in 2011. Um, overwhelmingly, most people were of the view that there's too much risk associated with it, that it's expensive. And those with children uh, indicated strongly in these focus groups that if one was to be built in the area, they will leave the area. So what you've picked up is that if the coalition is to be successful, they've got a fair bit of work to do, at least in that area that you surveyed. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's fairly difficult because up against it are some pretty simple, uh, now well uh, executed policy ideas, and that is solar, wind, uh, renewable energy. Uh, across all our surveys and other pollster surveys, uh, these other forms of energy sources are very, very popular. Yes, there is some social license challenges around uh, connecting our grid to those energy sources, but overwhelmingly, most Australians uh, think it's a good idea to be transitioning, and, but uh, they would like that transition to be actually done uh, much faster than it is right now. Um, Introducing nuclear as an additional uh, uh, point uh, or an additional idea is, is going to be rather challenging for the coalition. They, they offer their opponents a very significant potential negative campaign. Because to uh, another survey now, the nine newspapers had some numbers in their polling which suggested men, uh, male voters, have, have swung uh, to the coalition in the last six months away from Labor. Is this what you're picking up? Yeah, we picked that, that, that up late last year. <clears throat> Largely uh, male uh, voters in the outer suburbs and regions, those with a TAFE education, they join obviously a, a slide of support for, for the Labor Party amongst women in those same regions. But that said, um, it's, we find that po the polls across the country right now are quite consistent. So Labor's in the low 30s, the coalition's in the mid to, to high 30s in terms of primary vote. Not much has really changed since the, since the last federal election. The, the big change, obviously, is the honeymoon that Labor was enjoying is now, is, is now completely gone and dead. Um, and we are looking at a paradigm that is very similar to what we saw uh, uh, back in 2022 uh, on election night. And, and so, fundamentally, as we know, when we look to the next election, it's all going to come down to the, the marginal seats. What's happening in those electorates? Yeah, so on the next election, uh, you know, at, at the last election, there were a number of seats that shaped that result. You know, um, uh, the Teals winning electorates in the in the inner, inner parts of our large cities, Greens picking up a, a couple of seats in Brisbane, um, Labor picking up higher educated electorates. Uh, I think at this election, we're going to see very different dynamic, and that is going to be uh, very much... Uh, 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 what, a spotlight on the outer suburbs of Western Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. These are the electorates which are experiencing high levels of mortgage stress. This is where Dutton will try to make his gains. Um, and, but that said, there isn't enough of those seats just to, to get him to 75. Yeah. So, yeah, we are looking at a situation where both parties have got a very narrow pathway to that 75, but I think Labor's is a little bit wider.